Hey everyone, Ben the Massage Therapist here, and I've been making videos about massage therapy, all kinds of things about massage therapy. And today, we're going back to revisit some of those crazy text messages that I received. I found some in the archives, and these are from, man, way back in 2014, I was getting these text messages, right? And these scammers like to prey on sole proprietors, and they try to take advantage of well, at the time, it was older technology for credit card processing. So I thought I'd throw up the old uh, Matrix-looking background, make me look all official like I'm, you know, some technology guru, which I'm not. And we're going to read through this text message, so let's get to it. A guy called Katon James. That's what I'm going to call him, because I don't know how to pronounce that. Katon? Katon. Yes. So here it is. Attention to the owner, all caps, because he had to yell to get my attention, right? Attention to the owner. Hello, this is Katon James. I would like to know if you can do a body massage for my coworkers. We work in a construction company. We just finished a contract and all my coworkers needs a body massage. And I would like to know if you can handle that for me before we commence on our next project. And please get back to me as soon as possible. Thank you. So I thought, well, this sounds legit. <laughs> Let's just see what k has got going on. I want table massage for 10 people on the 16th and 17th of April. Have a limousine driver that will be bringing them to your office. And how much do you charge per person for an hour? So this was back in 2014. So I thought, well, if I'm going to be doing this, I should probably charge, charge a lot. So I say $90 per person. What is the total cost of 10 people? So I figure, well, $90 times 10 people, that would be $900. So, hmm. But anyway, I respond with, I see math is not your strong suit. So I just made up a number that was close to $900. It would be $984.34. Good. I would like to know how many people you can handle in a day. Also, kindly get back to me with the type of credit card you accept as payment. So I can handle 10 per day. Imagine that. He wants 10 people, I can handle 10 in a day. Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Disney. They all can be processed through our secure website. So I hadn't heard from Katon in a while. So I sent him these five little question marks to get his attention to see if he still wanted to play this game with me. It's kind of a thing I picked up when messing with scammers. You got to keep their attention every once in a while. Good. Five in a day. That means you will handle 10 people in two days. And these are the names of the coworker coming for the service at your place below with their ages. So already he didn't. He didn't realize that I could do 10 in a day, but you know, that scammers don't really care about the details. They really just want to get through all the, uh, all the other stuff until they get to the money part. That's what they really care about. So we have Cyrus Collins, Tony Morin, Shannon Rowland, Richard Quinn, Sally Williams, and here we go, Jack Whiskey. So in the last video, I had Janet Whiskey. Who knew... You know, back in 2014 or whatever this was, I had the opportunity to work with Jack. I'm sure Jack is probably Janet's husband. Anyway, we got Kelly Wilson, Philip Wagner, Ellen Fennell, and Thomas Blair. So I say, that's nice. When can I expect your non-refundable payment of $992.32? Notice that number is different from what I put in earlier. What days will you be in Lexington again? I just made up a town. I don't think he knows where I'm at. No, I'm positive he does not know where I'm at. Do you have a parking space? Because the private bus driver is going to wait for them each time they come for the service at your place. So I say, yes, I have a parking space, but there's not a bus stop here. Why does he need a bus stop? What kind of, anyway. Good, I would like you to provide me your full name and your full address so I can quickly forward it to the driver. Can I give you my credit card? So I wonder what city will you be driving from? 
Lincoln, Nebraska. So he did do a little bit of research and found out that my website says I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska. Way to go, Katon. Can I give you my credit card information to run it through now? Notice he's getting really antsy about getting this credit card stuff done because it's it's Friday and he wants everything to go through before the banks close down on Friday. You can run it through our website anytime you like. And he says, I can only give you my credit card to charge manually. And I thought, well, that's weird, but okay. I'll take your card number and enter it in manually. Great, I will give you gratuity of $200, and please do a great massage work for me and my coworkers. You'll be working for a company twice or three times in a month. <laughs> wow, that sounds pretty awesome. Okay, what's your card number? I want you to calculate your service fee plus gratuity of $200 and get back to me. So once again, he really doesn't care about the money because I already told him what the service fee was. You add $200 to that. Yeah, but anyway, once again, I see math is not your strong suit. That's okay. It will be $1,335.67. Once again, I just made up another number. Good, I want you to render me a little favor regarding the private limo driver company that will be bringing my coworkers to your office for the massage. So now it's a limo driver, and I don't know what happened to the bus service. Maybe it's because I didn't have a bus stop. He had to maybe hire a limo driver. Yeah. So I ask him, well, what, what's that? He says, I will give you my credit card to charge the 3500 which I don't know where he got that number, but okay. I will wait for the money to clear your account, and once it's clear to your account, you will take your own charges fee and send the rest to driver that is bringing the people to your office. And I will pay for the credit card charges and tax fee. So I was getting kind of tired of messing with Katon, and I was probably busy, so he does this little thing where he puts in, you know, the five question marks to see that I'm still paying attention, get my attention again. So I tell him, well, instead of that, I can assure you that I will give the limo driver your credit card number and the limo driver can charge your credit card for his fees. And he says, I should have paid the driver myself, but he doesn't have facilities to credit card at the moment. I'm sure your business would be able to send the limo company a check. And he says, no, I can only pay with my credit card and I'm only asking you for this favor due to my condition. Whoa, condition, what, what do we got going on here? So I ask, what is your condition? And he says, I'm presently recuperating from diagnosis of lung cancer and I'm still in the hospital. I would be undergoing some days surgery soon. Wow, this lung cancer is really messing up his ability to write text messages. But anyway, so I tell him, I trust that a competent construction company such as yours could find a way to pay the limo company while you are in hospital. And once again, Katon must have been receiving some treatment at the hospital, so I throw in a few question marks to make sure he's still interested. I need to pay the driver up front fee for me to secure the appointment with them. So I say, if I must pay your limo driver for you, there will be extra fees involved. I want to make sure that I make enough money for doing all this work for him. And he says, I will pay for the credit card charges and tax fee. So I say, okay, what is your credit card number? And he responds with, I would like to know if you really understand my text. And no, I don't really understand your text. But here's what I tell him anyway. I understand. You pay the fees. I keep the 3500 The limo driver drives the bus. And I give him some money because you can't on account of you are suffering from a diagnosis of lung cancer. I give perfect massage for your company. And your company hires my company two to three times per month. How hard is that to understand? Correct, so what kind of credit card machine are you using? So I know that they can't 
process any credit cards through anything that has any type of security like PayPal or anything like that. So I tell him, I only need your credit card number, zip code, and security code. I want you to know that my credit card doesn't work on Square and also PayPal. So I say, I find that odd, but I use the best card credit card system. And that's just something I made up. Okay, are you ready to charge my card now? So I figure it's time to mess with Katon a little bit again. And I said, oh, I can't right now because of my condition. And he says, what condition if I may ask? He falls right for it. Love it. So I say, my condition is constipation. And I suffer from symptoms of what is commonly referred to as shark attacks. So I don't hear from Katon for a while. And a few days later, he says, hello, and how are you doing today? And I don't respond, so he throws in the question marks. It's kind of this thing we have going on between he and I. So I tell him, my condition is better today. Can you send it the credit card number now? So I try to sound like he sounds in the text messages. Okay, I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, Katon. It's happy to hear that I'm not suffering from shark attacks, even though he's in the hospital suffering from lung cancer. Thank you, Katon. So I tell him, I need your name and billing address, along with the rest of the credit card info, please. So he says, go ahead and first run $1,000 on my credit card while I hold. You can come back, give me approval code, and he gives me this card number, which I know this is not a real card number and I don't even bother running it. I thought it was for $3,500. And he says, yes, I want you to first run a thousand on my credit card due to my card limit. So this is most definitely a stolen credit card. So he's just trying to get a thousand dollars out of it because if he goes for more, it may get declined. So I tell him, I need the name on the card, please. Katon James. Where did he steal this card from? Who is named Katon James? Anyway, I tell him, oh, I think I made a mistake. And he says, what mistake? So I thought I messed with him some more. And I said, I accidentally charged it for 10,000 instead of the 1,000 that he asked me for. So I give him the confirmation number and I just made up a number here. So I tell him I can refund the 7,700 to your account and I will keep the remaining 3,500. So he asks, can you send me the receipt via email? That way we don't have to worry about the thousand dollars. And he sends me his email address. Sure, I will send it as soon as I can get it scanned into my computer. So I'm making him think that I have a paper receipt. In the meantime, I will refund the 7300 to your account. I'm so sorry about that. He doesn't seem worried at all. He just says, okay, send me the receipt. And I apologize and I tell him, I'm not very good with computers, so I'll have to wait for my secretary to return from her lunch break. Because every massage therapist has a secretary, right? Yeah, that would be awesome. And he says, okay, I will be waiting to have the receipt in my email address. I said, okay, I will let you know when it is sent. Okay, no problem. And also, what is your name? Once again, time to mess with Katon again. And I tell him, yes, my name is Ollie Tabooger. And he says, okay, Tabooger, how soon will the money clear into your account? And I figure, I don't want him calling me Tabooger. So I say, you can just call me Ollie. I believe the money should clear within the next hour or two, but I don't think it actually posts for a couple of days since it is the weekend coming up. Okay, Ollie, I will be waiting to see the receipt in my email address. Thanks. I really appreciate your business and effort. Well, my business is to waste your time and my effort has been put in to waste your time. So it seems to be going pretty well. Sure, I have a meeting this afternoon, so I'll let you know as soon as possible. So once again, I really was getting tired of messing with Katon, and he sends me the question marks to make sure that I still want to play this game. So I see the question marks and I go, oh yeah, time to play the game again. <clears throat> Looks like everything is good except the refund has not gone through yet. My assistant is sending you the copy of the receipt soon. 
I can let you know when the refund goes through. Also, if you like. Okay, don't refund the money yet. Let's wait till the money clears, okay? So he's just worried about the money. Yes, the money is cleared. I will hold it for you. I didn't get the receipt yet, he says. So of course I'm not going to send him a receipt. I don't want to really take the time to print up a bogus receipt. But anyway, I tell him my secretary said she sent it. Did you look in your junk mail? Her address is maya.buttreeks at gmail.com. I don't think he picked up on that one because he says, no, you can resend it. I didn't get it. So I tell him, I'm out of the office for today. I can get it to you possibly tomorrow or Monday. And I didn't hear from Katon for a while, so I send him the question mark thingies that we do. So I think he's getting a little frustrated by now. And he says, I would like to know if you are legit. And I say, what do you mean legit? Do you need my company ID number? Did you receive the receipt yet? And he says, yes, I need your company ID. And also, I didn't receive the receipt. You can send me your company ID via email to know if this is a legit company. And he says, are you trying to scam me? <laughs> oh, really? He tries to flip the table right there. Are you trying to scam me? Yes, Katon, I'm trying to scam a scammer. No, I'm just messing with you. So I say, okay, shall I mail the receipt to you as my office assistant is not working this weekend? I can have it in the mail today and you should have it by Tuesday. I can see you are not a legit company because it doesn't take any to send me the receipt and your company. And I say, no, Katon, I'm not trying to scam you, I assure you. I apologize for overcharging your credit card because I didn't mean to charge you $10,000 instead of the $1,000 that you asked me for. I fully intend to return the money to you. And he says, send me the receipt and your company ID to know if you are legit. And I say, well, I will put the receipt in post today. Just tell me where I should send it. And once again, he goes back to email. Here's my email address and I want you to send it now. So I turn the tables on Katon and I say, I would like to know if you are legit. And once again, I don't get a response for a while. So I send him the question marks to see if he still wants to play this game. I think I shall keep the money since you seem only interested in the receipt. And he says, okay. So I break character and I say, thanks for the money, sucka. And he says, you will pay for this. I will report your company to the authority and you will pay for it. He's going to report me to the authorities. I find that hilarious. Anyway, I say, okay. And I wait and I send him the question marks to see if he still wants to play the game. And it looks like he no longer wants to play the game with me. So there you have it. That is my conversation with Katon James. I hope you enjoyed listening. And once again, my name is Ben. I'm a massage therapist and I've been making videos that have to do with massage therapy. But I'm just exploring this whole world of making videos. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. One way or another, let me know somebody's watching. So hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.